It's that time of year, Fordham fans. It's time to talk about some Fordham basketball. The non-conference schedule just came out last week, and i got to tell you, there's a lot of key matchups and a lot of teams that you're going to want to go see this year. For more on the Rams, stay tuned. This is the Sports Cycle. Welcome to the Sports Cycle Update Fordham Edition. I'm your host, Donnie Dwyer. Remember last year, senior day, final game of the year, Brenton Butler scores 28 points against UMass to lead them into victory 77-73, to snapping that 41-game Atlantic 10 losing streak? Yeah, I remember that. This year, they're going to take that one-game winning streak and bring it into this year to try to take it on their new opponents. And without further ado, let me give you this year's Fordham schedule with some key matchups and key breakdowns. Well, let's start in November. The exhibition starts against Northwood University in the Rose Hill Gym. We will see a lot of the new freshmen playing in this one. There's a lot of top recruits coming to the system, and it's going to be interesting to see how they work in Coach Bacora's guard offense. On November 12th, the Rams hit the road for the opener against Syracuse. Syracuse was 27-8 overall and third in the Big East. Their athleticism and size will outmatch the Rams, but I think that will be a good test for this team to start against top opponents. Not to mention, can Chris Gaston play well against every single Big East team? And on November 18th, they play Binghamton at home. They were 4-12 in conference, 8-23 overall. Like Fordham, they didn't win as many games and were in the bottom of the American East. But it should be a good contest in the Rose Hill Gym. And on November 26th, they hit the road to Chicago to play against Loyola. Loyola Chicago's program is on the rise, and if they want to beat their Jesuit opponents, they must eat a lot of turkey because this trip is on Thanksgiving break. And on November 29th, they play at home against Colgate, who had a t really rough year last year in the Patriot League. They only won four games in conference and had seven total wins last year. They're on a rebuilding stage now, and their program is only going to get better. Now we head to December, where on the 1st, they will play Lehigh at home. Last year, Fordham beat Lehigh in Pennsylvania and won 74-67. to Chris Gaston and Brent Buller had huge games in that one. On December 5th, they play Hampton for the third time in three years. Hampton beat them last year in the Rose Hill Gym 58-48 and also beat them in their first ever meeting in Hampton University. But this Hampton team did make it to the NCAA tournament last year and played a very good Duke team, but it'll be interesting to see how the Rams do in their third time against Hampton in three years. Then comes the road trip. On December 7th, they head down the block to play Manhattan in the Battle of the Bronx. Last year, the Rams won at home big, 73-59. to And on December 10th, they play at Monmouth from the Northeastern Conference. This Monmouth team only won five games in conference and nine all last season. It should be also an interesting matchup to see how the Rams do against an opponent that is much like Fordham and definitely young and wanting to improve every single year. And on December 12th, they head upstate to play Siena. Last time the Rams played Siena was in 2005, where they lost 64-54. to Brian Dunstan had his usual double-double in that game, but it's interesting to see that this rivalry, New York State rivalry, is coming back because, as you remember, Fordham used to play in the MAC. And now we move on to the winter break part of the season. In the first game on December 17th, the Rams will play St. John's. Last season, the Rams beat St. John's after being down by more than 20 with 10 minutes left to play. They stormed back and set the upset. This year, however, they're going to have to do it in Madison Square Garden, which they haven't played at since they played Dayton on January 13th, 2010. Then on January 22nd, the Rams head home to play Texas State. 
This team is in the Southland Conference, and their record was at 516-16. And, and on December 29th, right near New Year's Eve, Georgia Tech comes to the Rose Hill Gym. They didn't play last year's game 2-2 weather, and now former Dayton coach Brian Gregory will lead his troops in this one. The Yellow Jackets finished at 13-18, and but they definitely have a lot of talent to outweigh that record this year. Not to mention, they have a guy like Glenn Rice Jr. who can shoot the lights out of the basketball. And to finish off the non-conference, the Rams will play Harvard at home on January 3rd. Last year, the Rams went to Harvard and got beat bad by a score of 80-57. to Look for the Rams to get some revenge in this one. And I got to tell you, Pacor did a good job there, and I think that this team is young. We will see a lot of wins and losses. They'll beat the teams like Colgate. They'll beat the teams like Binghamton in that stretch. But then it'll be harder when they versus the St. John's, the Georgia Techs, the Harvards, and teams of that caliber. And I really think that this year they might even surprise you like they did last year when they stormed the floor at the Rose Hill Gym. It should be an interesting year, and I really expect some big things uh, from this team. But for more on the Rams and for more on all the sports, log on to the website www.thesportcycle.com for anything sports and anything Fordham Rams. I'm your host, Donnie Dwyer, and as many of you like to know me as Fordham Ball Boy 0409, logging out. Have a good night, folks.